So Yelan is going to be rerunning alongside Emily. And are you going to be picking Yelan over Emily? Now I'm going to be making a case for Yelan, but we haven't seen anything from Emily yet. So just keep that in mind. So generally we all know that Yelan is absolutely a busted character that is kind of really strong. You can use a weapon like the sacrificial bow and make it seem like it's a five star weapon. Yeah, it's just Yelan is that good. The fact that she also goes off of maximum HP just makes her that much stronger. Now, for her artifacts, it's as easy as just getting a fourth piece of the Emblem of Feet. At least that's from what I use. You could use Noblesse, you could use whatever else, the Tenacity of Milith. But I like to see my Yelan do a little bit more damage with her ultimate, or her burst rather. So, I am using this set. And it's actually really nice. And you can use her at as many constellations as you want, but at C0, she's so powerful still. And we know that already. Not to mention that you pretty much just need to focus on the E skill and the burst, and you're pretty much good to go. You can ignore her normal attacks, and yeah, it's just, she's really, really strong. And we know this already. Not to mention, she gets a little bit more HP from her own passive, and you also get a little bit more damage here with a maximum of 50%. Elon is just absolutely insane. And the more different types of characters you have in your team, the more damage she's going to deal. So that is just, you know, just chef's kiss. It's just so strong. Now, which weapon would I recommend using on Elon? Now, I do need the energy recharge. So I use the sacrificial bow, but you don't have to use this. You could use the Favonius bow if you want. This could also give you some... Uh, much needed energy recharge and can give you some elemental particles if you crit and hopefully you know you do crit but the energy recharge isn't a must on Yelan. you could obviously go for something like crit damage and then you can focus on the energy recharge being on her other substats that is definitely a possibility that you can follow for yourself but me it's just way easier going for energy recharge and sacrificial bow not to mention you get the free e skill by chance obviously and it's just really, really nice to have it like this. Or if you guys have the weapon bow, this or the event bow, you can also get some energy recharge this way, and you can increase some damage uh, through this method. I mean, it's an okay bow for her. Generally, you want something to either do energy recharge or crit, and then you'll be good to go. Other than that, just maximize your stat as much as possible. Mine aren't the greatest of all time, but she does crit, which, you know, is really nice. And that is what I want for my Yelan. And we all know how strong Yelan is and how nice she is to travel around the world. You know, you could use the, the elemental skill and then you guys just, you know, ride along this uh, traversal and it just makes it super, super easy. And yeah, definitely one of the one of the better characters. In fact, you guys can see for yourselves in the many, many videos made on the internet on YouTube on how strong she is but i will be showing you guys how strong she quite is and why you should probably get her
Now the main argument made for, you know, why you shouldn't summon Yelan is because you have a character such as, I can find him actually, there he is, you have a character named Shinjo. Now people usually say, and I was, I was one of those people, okay, I was one of those people, but usually people say, hey, if you have, you know, Shinjo, why would you get Yelan? You know, he does pretty much the same thing. Uh, if you can get so many constellations on him, C6, he would do more damage than Yelan. And I'd say, why have either or? That is what made me summon on Yelan. Why have either or? You can have both of them, one on each team, and you can call it a day. GG for pretty much every single abyss that you go against. Because, yeah, just having both of them would make your account so, so much better. And you could put them both on the same team too, and you would deal absolutely insane amount of damage. So yeah, the, the fact that you say, oh, if I have Ching Cho, I shouldn't get Yelan. I don't feel like that's fair. You can have one on each team, and then it, it's just smooth sailing from there. Now, why exactly should you pick Yelan over Emily? Well, for right now, we know what Yelan is capable of. We know what Yelan can do and how much she can provide for your team. We don't really know what Emily can do just yet in terms of how much she can provide for the team, or sub DPS rather, with some, you know, just, she just does damage and helps you get that down to react. And that's definitely a good thing. But Hydro is such an important element that you would want a hydro character in your dendro team anyway so if you don't have shin cho on that team and you want yelan to be put on that team that would be a considerable and excellent choice because she can provide hydro application really really fast the hydro application she would help with so many reactions you can easily swap out you don't have to have her on the you know the actual playing field or like the she, she doesn't have to be your active character and you can have yelan it up burst and then switch out and use a different character to do those uh, uh it's just so good it's so good so yeah 